Okay, welcome to the second video. This one is looking at our first class, looking at departmental accounts. This one's a bit of a recap from Business Evaluation 1, um, so just to get you into, um, back into study, here it comes. So, departmental accounts. So I've got the clicker, we're running through the PowerPoint. The first part we do, do in the class is we look at and brainstorm the various departments in a hotel. So during the brainstorm, you know, we look at quite a few of the departments, you know, rooms, front office, food, beverage, and then there's other ones, you know, IT department, finance department, um, maintenance department, marketing department, um, and the list keeps on going on and on. Now, in a big hotel, they would actually have a record of all these different departments. And so a department is just one area of the hotel. So can you imagine you know, the hotel? This is the whole hotel. And each of these departments is just one small part of that hotel. And a big hotel, or a small hotel even, wants to know the um, performance of each of these departments. So how much money have we spent on marketing, how much on maintenance, how um, has rooms division done, um, how much have we spent on housekeeping? You know, all of these are important questions to make sure that um, you know, the right uh, performance of each hotel department has occurred and to um, monitor it and make changes if needed. Okay, uh, so under each, so we can create what's called departmental accounts. So in a big hotel, they would create a departmental account for every department. It's fine in their accounting system, they just tag things to each department and they're able to pull, pull a big list of every single department. We're simplifying things a bit in this course, so we're only going to do um, the preparation part for three departments. Just generally, we, we've got the rooms department, or just think front office. These are people coming to stay with us. We've got the food and beverage together, so that's just the hotel. Um, restaurant operations, and then we're going to do an admin department, administration, sort of for like overheads. And what we do is under each of these departments we would identify what relates to each of these departments. So if you've already had a look at the exercise ahead, um, you'll actually see that you know we're given a trial balance, that's where the information comes from, just the list of accounts, and so we would look through and we'd see what relates to the rooms department, for example. And we would find all the revenue items that relate to that department. Then we would take away all the expenses. And that gives us what we call now a net income. A net income. So net income is, think of it like a net profit of what that um, department has contributed. So for rooms it's pretty easy, revenue, less expenses, gives us our net income. For food and beverage, there's just one extra step. I've got cost of sales, or cost of goods sold. So we have our revenue, less our cost of sales, equals our gross profit. Gross profit is the profit made from selling items. And then we take away our other expenses. And then that gives us our net income. Or the net performance of that department. So there's just that extra step there for the food and beverage department. Now for the administration department and other departments, uh, things are slightly different. We only have Expenses. So, you're going to notice that there's a terminology used for some different departments. Uh, for rooms and FMB, these are what's called operated departments. Just an operated department means that um, there's an operation, there is revenue earned through that. 
For any others, they're non-operated departments, so they are administration, maintenance, marketing, we'll keep on going through the list. Okay, so yeah, so non-operated departments, those that do not earn revenue, expenses only, so administration, marketing, and also utilities. So utilities, if you haven't heard the word, um, think power, think, um, think water, think telephone. These are the things that you need to connect to the outside world. Okay, so these are departmental accounts. So we create and find the performance of each department. Right, what we do then is we take the performance of each of these departments and then put them together into what's called the consolidated income statement. Consolidated just means to put all together. That's all it means. So consolidated income statement means the whole hotel together. So here's the performance of each of the departments um, listed out. So you'll see there in the example in the book, we have our operator departments and we have the net income figures only. We don't use the room sales figure, we don't use the food sales, we want to use these items here, the net income figures. They're the ones that get carried over to the income statement. So you follow the format and eventually you do come down and you calculate the net profit of the hotel. So the net profit of the hotel is the whole hotel, the net profit of the, when you take all departments into account. Right, all of this information is from what's called the trial balance, if you remember. So the trial balance, and I know we've just a little space here. If you remember, the trial balance is a list of all the accounts, account names, and if you remember, there are some accounts that are debit in nature, and there's some accounts that are credit in nature. So debits are on the left, and these are typically your assets and your expense accounts. The ones that are credit in nature are your liabilities, owners equity and revenue. So in this case we're just looking, because it's a partial trial balance, we're just looking at our revenue items and our expense items in this case. We will look at a full trial balance um, in the next few classes where we start doing the balance sheet. Okay, so that's where all the information comes from. Right, so you do have the little slide there of like how to analyse, you know, what would be the favourable result, what would be the unfavourable result. It might be a little hard at this point because we've only got one year's worth of data. So in the next class, what we actually do is we take this a step further, we start to look at um, year on year trend. So we look at what happened last year and what happened this year. And then we can start to analyse and see how did the hotel actually do. Right, so give it a go yourself. Um, you'll find it in Canvas and in your workbooks. Um, so you can try this for Hotel Flora, Bora Bora. There's a few examples there that you can try. Um, yeah, prepare the three de departmental accounts first. And then you'll be able to do the consolidated Okay.